Welcome to New Possibilities, I Speak Truth to Power Without Fear. Today I'm going to continue my series on Jesse Williams. The brother gave a powerful speech during the BET Awards. He gave a speech after he accepted his award for being a humanitarian. And here's the segment that I would like to highlight. The brother said, we've been floating this country on credit for centuries, yo. And we're done watching and waiting while this invention called whiteness uses and abuses us, burying black people out of sight and out of mind while extracting our culture, our dollars, our entertainment like oil. Black gold ghettoizing and demeaning our creations, then stealing them gentrifying our genius and then trying us on like costumes before discarding our bodies like rinds of strange fruit. The thing is, though, the thing is that just because we're magic doesn't mean we're not real. So that's what the brother said. And there's been a discussion about this whole concept of cultural appropriation. I was watching a little clip from The View And there was a debate between Whoopi Goldberg and Sonny Hostin. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing the name right. But there was a debate between these two. And they were talking about the idea of cultural appropriation. So Sonny was talking about how she really enjoyed the aspect of Jesse Williams' speech about cultural appropriation. And then Whoopi Goldberg was asked her position on the issue. And Whoopi Goldberg basically said, well, black people appropriate white culture as well. She tried to make it, you know, into some kind of equivalency by saying, well, black people, black women in particular, wear weaves and blonde hair and all that kind of stuff. So they, too, are appropriating white culture. So there's an exchange of appropriation between these people. So why are black people complaining? Basically, that was her position. She didn't say why are black people complaining, but she was basically saying, well, there's cultural appropriation on both sides. And I just want to address that. As Sonny pointed out, that's not a cultural appropriation when black women wear weaves and blonde hair and all that kind of stuff. It's not cultural appropriation. That's a simulation. Because we live in a society that has taught our people for so long that we were inferior. We live in a a society that elevates and celebrates whiteness as the standard of beauty. So you have so many of these black men that idolize the white concept of beauty. So you got black men chasing white women and very light women. And the other day, one of these basketball players reportedly had a party where there were no black women allowed. That's what the reports say, the member of the Cleveland Cavaliers, Kyrie um, Irving, basically said, well, he doesn't want black people black women attending that party. So he had a party full of black men, black bucks, and a whole bunch of trashy white women. But my point is this, you know, people hold up this white woman as a standard of beauty. We've been programmed, a lot of us, to idolize these white women and whiteness. So a lot of black women feel the pressure to assimilate by trying to emulate white women, by changing their hair texture, by completely sewing in some other woman's hair into their head so that they can look in a way that's more European, you know, more in tune with the white standard of beauty. So you do have some black women that wear blonde wigs or dye their hair blonde and all that kind of stuff. And that's the reason why. That's not cultural appropriation. Again, that's a simulation. Cultural appropriation is what the white man has done to black culture. 
there are countless examples of all these black blues singers who create beautiful music from their experience, from their conditions. And you had all these rock and roll artists. Study these blues artists. Not only study them, but they actually stole from these blues artists, these black artists. Stole lyrics from these artists. Did those black artists get the credit? Did those black artists get the money? Of course not. They were discarded like rinds of strange fruit, like the brother Jesse Williams talked about. They were discarded. Meanwhile, the white people who stole their music, who stole their lyrics, those white people were celebrated. Those white people received all kinds of praise and all kinds of wealth while these black artists died in obscurity without the same kind of wealth, without the same kind of attention. And the same is true for early rock and roll. You have people like, I think his name is Chuck Berry and other artists who invented rock and roll. But then you have these white people copy and emulate that music and become rich and famous. While again, the black artists did not receive the kinds of attention, the kind of fame, the kind of wealth. That's cultural appropriation. While those people back then were stealing black music and black culture, they weren't doing anything to protect black people from the lynch mobs. They weren't doing anything to rally behind civil rights when our people were fighting for basic human rights in this country. So that's what this brother is talking about. And then if you look at today's era, you have a rap artist like Eminem. He's like a modern day Elvis. Despite being a great lyricist and all that kind of stuff, he is relying on black music to get wealthy. And he even has a song where he's boasting and bragging about this. Where he's talking about, I use black music to get wealthy. He's bragging about this. There are plenty of other MCs that either have equal lyricism as Eminem or even better lyricism, but they don't receive nearly half the attention or wealth that Eminem receives. That's cultural appropriation. You have all these artists that just steal black music. They steal it. They steal the dance moves. They steal the soul of the music. They love the black culture, but they don't love the black people. The black culture is something that they use to get themselves rich, to enrich themselves. Whether it's artists enriching themselves by exploiting our culture or record companies exploiting our culture and getting wealthy off of it and actually using our very culture against us where these record labels encourage negativity where they encourage and promote music that promotes the destruction of black people music that promotes drug abuse music that promotes drug selling music that promotes death and destruction violence, promiscuity, and all other kinds of negativity. They're using our very culture against us. And as these people get rich off of our black culture, you know, as these people, you have a lot of young people who love this black culture. They want to look like a rap artist. They want to sag their pants. They want to speak in the ghetto vernacular. They want to use all that kind of stuff. They have all this love for that black music. They play the black music. But where's the love for the black people? Where are these people 
when black people are killed in these streets by these stinking police? Where are these white people that love our culture so much? You can't find them. You won't find them marching and fighting for justice. You won't find them there. So this brother, Jesse Williams, is on the money. This brother is on point when he talks about these people exploiting our culture and then discarding our bodies like rinds of strange fruit. You got black people, you know, black women, when they wear their natural hair on a job, when they wear braids on a job, there are countless examples of black women being told that they have to change the way their hair looks if they want to keep their job. They're told that they can't wear their hair in an afro or they can't wear braids on the job. They're condemned for wearing their natural hair and presenting their natural image of beauty. But at the same time, when you have these white women that want to imitate Black style, hairstyles, you know, putting braids in their hair or even locks in their hair. These women are viewed as being exotic. These women are celebrated as if they are unique somehow. They're put on a pedestal while a black woman is threatened with losing her job for wearing her natural hair. That's cultural appropriation right there. That's what the brother was talking about. And as another sister, you know, pointed out in her video, you got these people that condemn our African features, like for years, they had make, made fun of full lips and, and full hips you know, that a lot of our sisters have. But then you have these same people that undergo plastic surgery in order to look like black women. And again, these white women are celebrated. Not only are they celebrated by the white society, they are celebrated by these ignorant, lost, blind, deaf, and dumb Negroes out here. So those are just my thoughts about this. And I may do one more video on this subject of Jesse Williams, you know, responding to these um, extremists, you know, these people that have basically lost their mind and are player hating on this brother, Jesse Williams. So I may do one more video breaking down a lot of the points that a lot of these people have raised. So tell me what you think about this issue. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.